Hi, my name is Jake Bessling, one of the pastors at Christ Greenfield. Today's reading for the Mark plan is from Mark 1, 2 to 3. Let me read that for you as we discuss its relevance in our lives. It's that short. Verse 2, as it is written in Isaiah the prophet, I will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. Mark is quoting an ancient scroll written by Isaiah the prophet at least 600 years earlier. Isaiah 40 verse 3 had in mind the building up of a great road for the arrival of a special guest. Picture a desolate place where there are no highways, and yet a special person needs to travel through it. The idea is in order to prepare for the coming of that special person, the messenger must knock down the hills and build a road with his words so a straight path would be made for the special person's arrival. His words would build a foundation that would help prepare hearts to receive the special guest. John the baptizer is the messenger, and Jesus is the special person coming. In this book of Mark, we learn that this special person is a king and comes from heaven, that he is now coming to usher in a new way to live and a new gift to receive, forgiveness of sins. John the baptizer was the messenger then and there. Who are God's messengers today? <laughs> Don't think too hard. It's you, it's me, it's us. We are individual messengers who are called together to be a voice of truth in the wilderness to those who would meet Jesus for the very first time. John shared his message in a literally remote desert-like wilderness, a day's journey outside of a big city. Our job as messengers is to call people out from the cities they have built by their own worldly strength without Jesus, to take a journey into the unknown wilderness to hear a new message about who to live for. So let me ask you, which non-Christ following friend of yours needs to hear a new message from your friendly voice? Pray right now as I do for you that the Holy Spirit would lead you to share with them the good news that the kingdom of Jesus is here for them and that they would receive it with joy. Don't know any non-Christian following friends? Then maybe you need to get outside of your own comfort zone and own comfort city into the wilderness a little more often. Happy reading. Jesus is with you.